So in this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to position yourself to possess something that the prospect wants. So you've taken them through the first five seconds. You've determined what is the price range the prospect is looking for before sharing the information on the property that they've contacted you about. So once you've determined the price point, then say, uh, and tell me, how many bedrooms would you like to have in your new home? And they'll tell you how many bedrooms, and you say, well, perfect, I'm logging into the multiple listing service computer right now, and ultimately, I'll be able to download all of the listings that match your unique criteria, and in a matter of moments, I'll tell you how many of them there are. So tell me, how many bathrooms would you like to have? Now, I want you to hear how I said that. It wasn't, would you like for me to do this? Because the prospect ultimately can say no. Rather, it's, so tell me, how many bathrooms would you like to have? So tell me works so much more effectively than would you like. In fact, I'll encourage you to eliminate would you like from your vocabulary. Now, once you've collected the criteria, you click how many listings are available, and you say, Mr. Prospect, I've got great news. There's seven listings that match your unique criteria. So I'll tell you what let's do. Let's simply set an appointment for you to come to the office. I'm gonna download these listings, the color photos, the virtual tours. You can view them on screen in my office before spending your time to drive by them or waste your money on gas for that matter. I'll also share with you some negotiating strategies that will help you get the home that you'd like to buy at the best price possible. So tell me, when is the best time for us to get together? Is it weekdays or weekends? 